Hey YouTubers, how you doing? Coming at you from NorCal. I wanted to throw up a review on a lift kit on our 4th gen Toyota. It's 2004. Uh, it's a lift by a company called Freedom, Freedom Off-Road. They're out of, based out of the East Coast and uh, kind of go over what we did and what my thoughts are. I'm just a YouTube hack mechanic. I've had quite a few off-road vehicles growing up as a kid and an adult and uh, I picked this 2004 Forerunner up for my son last month. Uh, we have it had 285s on it when it came with the vehicle, and it was rubbing with the inch and a half spacer in front. And the, the prior owners put a three inch on the back, so it was about an inch and a half too low in the front. So we needed to raise the vehicle up for it to level off, and we were checking out all the adjustables out there. Uh, we looked at obviously Icon and King and uh, Bilstein, and then we stumbled across Freedom Lift Kits. And, you know, I mean, obviously Icon and King are top of the line. Let's, let's be honest, right? You're not going to go wrong with them. But I also didn't want to spend like 2500 bucks for, for the lift. And uh, I think all in with this lift, with the upper control arms, the adjustable strut, the diff drop kit, we were around 900 bucks shipped to our house. So, which is a great value. I mean, $900 for an adjustable lift, it's, you know, two to five inches, um, is you can't go wrong with that. But if the quality's not there, then what's the point, right? I mean, we want, all want something that's safe on our vehicle. And uh, this is my son's ride, so I wanted him to be safe. So I want to talk about the quality. Uh, the lift itself, uh, up to this point, from what I can see, is, is excellent. So even starting with the uh, upper control arms, I'll try to zoom in here a little bit. Uh, the upper control arms are powder coated, gusseted, great welds. Um, they have this cap you can remove that has a, a Zerk fitting on it to, to uh, adjustable or a greasable ball joint. Uh, the, the strut itself is completely adjustable two to five inches. Um, it's got the collar down below that locks in and they give you a wrench with it to adjust it. So like we're about three inches right now in the front, maybe a little three and a quarter. Uh, that's why we also did the diff drop kit on it, uh, kit on it to uh, keep our CV angles as, as straight as possible. I also did did some brake work on it, new um, a new rotor and new brake pads, and uh, so that was that was another thing we did. But uh, so we had it on the vehicle for a week, uh, got it aligned after we installed it, got it all adjusted, and then uh, it's been great. It drives real nice. I I can't see any issues with this this kit at all. Uh, we're not going to go hammer on the thing um, and do rock crawling or anything crazy. My son will probably take off some basic trails, but uh, I don't think it's going to be an issue at all. I just, um, I'm just a hack mechanic, but you know, I don't do this for a living, but I don't see anything but quality here. I, I just can't see anything that's uh, alarming at this point. Um, it just looks like it's a really well-built lift. Uh, now, Freedom, they only have about 10 employees. Like I said, they don't have a big marketing budget. You're not going to see them all over the place. Four-wheel wholesalers doesn't even sell them. Um, so they're, they, they're just like direct-to-consumer. Um, they do have lifts for Tacoma, Tundra, and um, the Forerunner as well, all different years. So that's kind of my two cents on it. Uh, you know, I'll zoom in out for you guys here. Hopefully you can take a little better look at it. But uh, as you can see, it's it it just has a, looks like it's a good quality lift. Nothing alarming on it. Um, it just, I can't see anything wrong with it at all. I really can't. And if you're in the market for an adjustable strut front end on your, on your Forerunner, um, definitely give them a look. Um, I mean, for a third of the price of an Icon Stage 1, it's it's a great value, and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I couldn't find anything on YouTube on Freedom at all, so I just wanted to throw this video up and give you guys just a basic rundown of, of what it is. And uh, so at this point, we're very satisfied with it. I'll try to throw a, a follow-up video in you know a couple months just to see if we've had any issues and, and give you guys a rundown on that. But at this point, uh, check them out freedomoffroad.com. Uh, give them a look and uh, peace out.